Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Let's discuss about the Wi-Fi coverage issue today and how we can overcome without much hassle. Nowadays, internet service provider are installing router which is having internal antennas and if they have the antennas, those are not powerful to cover every corner of our office and our house. So imagine this situation that you have an apartment or you have an office and you have to drill through the wall to pull the cable to connect the external antennas or access point. Those are the very difficult situations. And alter alternatively, you have extender option, but uh, that is not a part of our discussion today because that come with their own challenges. But what if we have a powerful router like TP-Link Archer C5 or 66, which has a po four powerful antenna. So if you are someone who is facing a similar issue like uh, Wi-Fi coverage, so let's go walk through this uh, video and we'll discuss how we can cover this uh, the Wi-Fi coverage issue with this uh, TP-Link Archer C5 or C6 router. Okay, before we jump into the configuration, let me show you how I have connected both the routers. So as you can see here, this is my TP-Link C5 router. And you can see this yellow patch cable which is connected to the blue port. So blue port is a WAN port. You can see the written backside of the cable. And here you can see the four yellow ports. Those are LAN 1 to LAN 4 ports. And now you have a geo router. You can see here uh, that yellow cable from this TP-Link router which come to the geo router, one of these these ports, right? This is how it's connected. So hardly it's like one meter cable or half meter cable. It's all depends. Like if you have an option to pull the cable, you can pull it, and it can go maximum up to 100 meters. I mean 100 meters. That's it. Not more than that. So this is about the connectivity and now let's go back to the configuration. Okay, let me bring my browser here. So this is my Google Chrome browser and uh, let's just log into the router. So my router default IP is 192.168.0.1. Sorry, it's 0 0.1. So, and you can see here I'm able to log into this page. So if, if in your case, if you are not able to reach this router just check a couple of things here the first thing is uh, try to do this uh, ip config from the command prompt so this is the command prompt just ip config okay you can see here now uh, my ip address is 192.168.0.100 and my gateway is 0.1 so normally in our home home, home routers this 0.1 is typically uh, our router itself so in our case TP-Link is our router, right? So, and now we can do the ping also. 192.168.0.1. If it is reachable, if you are able to ping your router, then this this web page will come. This router web page can be. If not, just check if you have not assigned any static IP address on your WAN card or not. If it is a static IP address, just remove that. How do you do that? So, again, you have to go to the run. And in the run, just type the command ncpa.cpl. Go to the network properties. So this this will open. Go to right click on your Wi-Fi card properties, and then go to TCP/IP version four. And when is this? Uh, you, when you see that, use the following IP address. Then you see some numbers here. Just click here, obtain IP address automatically. Obtain DNS automatically, and click on OK. Once you do that, and then you do the IP config. Then you do the IP address. You must have the IP address in 192.168.0. .0. Some series. I mean, mine is 100. You, you may have something else, but it should be 0. Something, and your gateway should be 0. 0.1. Then ping that uh, gateway, and then it should open. So now I'm here. Since I'm here, let's open. Let's uh, log in to this router. So once you log into the router, you select the first option. What is the first option? First option is dynamic IP, right? And then you click on the next. Okay, so click on the next here. And here asking about the VLAN ID. Don't bother about the VLAN ID because this is our uh, internal router. Our router internal router means after right after our uh, service provider router. So click next. And here it's asking about the service uh, your Wi-Fi name and the password. So you can give the Wi-Fi name is like uh, my home, my home 01, and you can give same to the my home 02 to your uh, your 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz router. So you can see here. Notice one thing here. This is your 2.4 wireless, and this is 5 gigahertz wireless, right? You have and you have to enable this both from here. 
if it is disable it you, if it disables for some reason check it and it will enable it now click on the next so in my case i just wanted to keep his default name so let's keep it as it is you can change your name as however you want now we click on the next and you can see here it's it's telling you something come back to this page so you can say that it says the dynamic ip and this 2.4 is enabled 5 gigahertz enabled the name of this your wi-fi id and this is the password so these all are the default password i'm not changing anything on this one right if you change your name it will show you your your name like my home or something whatever you change it it will show you here now click on the save option from here you can say here this is the all wireless settings everything is successfully changed now change it now we click on the next and after click on the next it says that click on the finish or test the internet connectivity i want to click on the finish here you can see here this red mark is running and now they see that little check box like the internet so here it says that you have a internet and then from you have a connectivity to your router and both your 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wi-fi is working you have one wireless client connected to it and you can see here the state of status internet status is connected and you have you're connected to the dynamic ip dynamic ip means we have not assigned any static ip i don't we don't want to take any hazards to assign the static ip on our router right and this is your ip detail here right and now when we when we once we go back to um, the command prompt let's try to 8.8.8 .8 .8. you can see we are able to reach the internet now ping the google google.com is pingable now let's go back to speed test okay wow perfect so i'm getting somewhere like 130 140 mbps speed that's absolutely fine so i have 100 150 mbps connection and uh, out of 150 mbps connection I am getting 133 Mbps, right? As a download speed and upload speed is uh, upload is 150 and download is 133, which is considered to be the good one. So I am very happy with the Wi-Fi coverage of this router. And I am sitting more than 20 feet away from my router, and I can see that so far I am receiving the good signal. So this is considered to be the good router coverage. Now let's discuss how you can manipulate uh, your signal using these antennas because these are all are movable antennas you can move the direction of these antennas so you can see here this is my router tp link router and if i bend this router towards one side so it will throw the signal this the, you as you know this is the omnidirectional antenna so it will sing, send that signal to the one way and the other way if you move it it will send the signal to the, the different direction and these are the all two you can move it or you can keep it as it is like however you want to or you can move the, all these four antennas in the four different directions and you get a better coverage or good coverage so let's bring it back to their original positions and this is how you can um, play with this antennas to move it and then you get the good coverage so that's it for today's video if you have any questions query any any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching my video